Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to part six of my Logic Pro 11 Essentials course. In this video, I wanna talk about saving and sharing your Logic Pro projects, the different formats you can choose, what content is included, and different methods of managing your Logic Pro project. Logic allows you to save your projects in two main formats, project folders or project packages. Folders are normal macOS folders that contain the Logic project itself, along with all of the content inside of the project, while packages are self-contained single project files that contain all of that same data, but in a more consolidated format. Whether you choose to work with project folders or project packages is completely up to you, and I'll explain the pros and cons of these formats in this video. Before I get started though, I need to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. Boombox is the ultimate file storage and collaboration tool for musicians, artists, producers, and mix engineers. You can upload multi-tracks, mixes, stems, full DAW sessions, really any type of file can be uploaded to your projects and shared with your collaborators, who can then leave timestamped feedback on your projects. In addition to file storage and sharing, Boombox has a full suite of collaborative, creative, and promotional tools. Create your own custom artist page to reach new fans and clients. Tap into the power of Boomba AI, which is an AI-powered co-writer that can generate chord progressions and other MIDI musical ideas. It can even assist you with your lyrics, and it can split stems and remove vocals. If you want to check out Boombox for yourself, head over to boombox.io today and get four gigabytes of free storage. So one quick thing I want to show you, even before I jump into Logic Project folders versus packages, is I want to show you how to find your Logic folder on your Mac, especially if you're new to Mac OS, you're new to using Apple products, or you're new to using Logic. This can be a bit confusing because Logic is gonna try to automatically save all of your projects to this Logic folder, and sometimes it's kind of hard to find, again, especially for beginners. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to Macintosh HD up here, and if you don't see Macintosh HD up here, go up to Finder, Settings, and from here, make sure that hard disks are shown. From here, you're gonna to go to Users, you're gonna select your username, and then you're gonna to go to Music. And in here, there's a folder that's titled Logic. I'm gonna open this up, and inside you'll see that this is just packed full of Logic projects. This is the default location where Logic likes to save its projects. However, I really only use this folder as sort of like a place to kind of dump all of my Logic projects that I don't necessarily need to keep. Logic projects that are important to me will end up going in my projects folder that I've created here on the desktop, and then I'll back them up to one of my external hard drives. But plenty of people use the Logic folder as their main place to find all of their projects. So if you want quick and easy access to all of these projects in the Logic folder, you can drop the Logic folder over here on the sidebar, and this will just make it super easy to access all of your Logic projects. If you prefer saving your projects elsewhere, that's totally fine as well. Okay, so let's go through the saving options. So if you go up to File, you'll see there are a few different options here for saving. You have Save, Save As, and Save a Copy As. Save is when you want to save a project in the location it's already been saved into. So I've got this Logic project here. It's already been titled. It's already saved in a particular location. So this is just a simple save, you know, so you can hit Command S for that. That's when you don't want to change the location or change the project into some different format. So if you do want to change the name of the project or save it in a different location or save it in a different format, you're going to want to use the save as function, which is shift command S. So what this will do is it'll bring up this dialog. And by the way, if it's minimized like this, just click here to open it up like a full finder view. And as I mentioned earlier, you can save this to your logic folder here. You can save it to the desktop. You can save it anywhere on your computer. For now, I'm just going to save this on the desktop here. And I'm just going to call this project package because I'm going to do one as a package and then one as a folder. Now down here, you can choose to organize your project as a package or a folder. And you can choose what types of files you want to copy into your project. 
Now, the most important one here is audio files. Everything else is pretty much supplementary because everything from here down is going to be stored on your computer in a different location as long as you've downloaded the full sound library. So if you're including all of these things every time, you're really just wasting space if you're just going to be using that project on your computer alone. However, if you're going to be sending a project over to a collaborator, another musician or artist, or you're going to be moving it over to another computer, and you're not sure if that other computer or that collaborator has the full sound library downloaded, you can click Include Apple Sound Library Content, and it'll include everything except for the movie files. And if you're working with movie, you can do that too. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to include everything just as a proof of concept here. So let's start with a package. So we'll save this to the desktop here. So I'll do shift command S to save as, and this time, instead of saving it as a project package, we're going to save it as a folder and I'll just name this project folder. And there we go. Now, before we go take a look at these projects I just saved, I want to show you one more option here. If you go up to file, save a copy as, what this will do is it will create a copy of your project, but after you save a copy as, you'll still go back to working in your original project. So this is helpful if you want to save a copy of your project as like a backup to an external drive or to some location on your computer to make a copy of your project, but then just continue working in the project that you're currently in. You're not going to be working in the save a copy as project. It's just going to create a copy of that somewhere. Another thing this is good for is if you're working with project folders, you can store like revisions of a project within the same folder. So like I could do, you know, project folder version two and notice that uh, the option here is grayed out. You don't have a choice. And then I could do save a copy as project folder version three. So these could be, you know, different mixes or different revisions of a project or different versions of a project that you're working on. And you just want to store multiple logic project files inside of a folder. Now, if you do use the save a copy as outside of a folder, it's going to automatically create a folder for you. So you're not really going to have a choice there. OK, so let's close out this project and let's go check out those logic projects I saved. A quick way to close out Logic Pro, and this really works for any uh, Mac application, is to hit Command Q, and that will ask if you want to save, and then we'll close out Logic Pro. Okay, so we're back out here on the desktop. Let's check out our project package and our project folder. Let's start with the project folder. So I'll open this up, and you'll see the enclosing folder of the project. So what you're going to see are Logic project files. These are the actual logic project files. And you'll see with the save a copy as function, I have a version two and a version three. So you can store multiple revisions of a project within a project folder. So I find this really helpful when I'm working on a project or collaborating with someone step by step. Sometimes we need to go back a version. And so this makes it really handy to have those backups of older versions of the project. Another reason why I like using project folders is if I'm using a lot of external content, like external loops or samples that I've gotten from Splice, for example, you can create your own folders in here and you can drag and drop all of those loops into a folder that can be accessed within the project. You can store demo bounces, demo mixes, lyric sheets, chord sheets. So it's just a really nice way to kind of keep everything in one location. So I find folders are a better way to organize projects, but packages are generally going to be easier for sharing and collaborating with other producers or artists because everything is just wrapped up into one file. Now, inside of the project folder, you're going to see different folders within here. So for example, under audio files, you can see all of the audio files in my project. If I go to impulse responses, there's some SDIR files. These are impulse response files for the Space Designer Reverb plugin in Logic. And then samples is going to contain any sampler instruments or quick sampler instruments or drum machine designer instruments that you're using. It's going to store the samples for those instruments. And so again, with project folders, you have easy access to all of this, but let me show you a little trick if you're using a project package and you still want to access all of that content. If you right click or control click on any project package and then select show package contents, 
this will open up a separate finder window where you can go under media and you'll find all of your audio files in here. You'll find your impulse responses. You'll find your samples. So these things are not inaccessible when you use a project package. You can still get to them. It just requires one extra click to get there. Now, regardless of whether you choose to use project packages or folders, a really important thing to remember when you're sharing a project with a collaborator or another artist is that it's best to compress the entire folder or package as a zip file. And again, if you're new to Mac OS, what you're gonna do is right click or control click on the folder or package and select compress. And what that's gonna do is it's going to compress that entire folder as a zip file, which will make it a lot easier to share that file. And one last thing I wanna mention here that is a, a mistake a lot of beginners make is when you're working with project folders, and you need to send a project to someone else, you don't want to just send the project file itself. You wanna send the entire folder. So that's why it's so important to just zip that entire folder into one file, and then you can drag and drop that into your email or into a file transfer service, and you'll make sure that the person you're trying to collaborate with gets all of the data, gets all of the files that they need. Because if I just drag this into an email, one of these logic projects into an email, what's gonna happen is the project will open up and it'll be completely empty because there'll be a bunch of missing content that was not included. So that wraps up logic project packages versus folders and different ways to save your logic projects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.